Hey guys, I'm waiting on uh, to see a few people join in and then I am going to uh, give you some tips on using our air inhaler. So just waiting on a few people to join in first of all. So this is the arrow inhaler for those that are joining in. And today I'm going to show you some maintenance on the air inhalers, how to keep them performing properly. I hope everybody can hear me. Uh, let me know if you can hear me okay. So this is the air inhaler. It is, so everybody can get a good close up. It is just like a regular inhaler. No difference. No difference in a regular inhaler. By the way, I'm gonna show you. Here is the air inhaler. Here is the counterpart, the evil abuterol, abuterol inhaler. So, pharmaceutical inhaler, cannabis inhaler, same, same, exact same inhaler, canisters, nothing different, all medical folks, exact same. Exact same. So, what I want to show you is, um, first of all, I'll put the inhalers back together. How to clean them. Because what will happen is your inhalers, when using the air inhaler, will get clogged up. And if you look, if you look in there, you can see the residue. Residue um, from the propellant and from the isolates and the hashel. So, um, how to clean those. So, very simple. Here's what I do. Um, I just get a little container to hold them in. And I soak them for a little bit in either alcohol, rubbing alcohol, or Everclear. Um, this is 70% alcohol. You can soak them in those. Or, this works well too. Soaking up grain alcohol as well. So, after, after you soak them, pull them out. And here's one that's been soaking for a while. Oh, crap. Leaking all over my laptop. Wipe them off before you show them on your, uh, on your computer. This has been soaking uh, for an hour or two. And you see it's perfectly clean now. I don't have to do anything to it. I got two in there, so both of them are clogged up. And this one, I may have to do a little more cleaning on. By the way, you should clean your regular inhalers if you're using pharmaceutical inhalers. You should clean those as well. And you use the um, aero inhaler the exact same way as you would a can uh, pharmaceutical inhaler. So here's the other one. A little bit of residue in this one that I can clean out. You see? Tiny bit. And, and by the way, um, when I soaked them in the 70% alcohol first, it didn't do as good of a job as getting, uh, getting them clean. But when I soak them in Everclear for about an hour or two, I don't really have to do much. So just pull them out, dry them off, and good to go. This one, though, I'm going to show you how we would clean this, uh, the inside of this one out. Ah, oh, here we go. So I got a, uh, a safety pin. And if you see in here, there is, trying to figure out the camera, there's a spot in here where you can get in there with your, with your tool and clean it out. You can also, you can also use a toothpick. You have a toothpick right here. Use a toothpick. Toothpick goes down in here. Turn it around a little bit. Wipe it off with a Kleenex. Go back this way with it. Clean it up. And it is like new. Now, then you can take and stick your canister in it. 
And how do you use the arrow inhaler? First of all, always shake it. It's like a regular inhaler. Shake it. Shake it up. <coughs> you will cough. Not unusual to cough. Everybody coughs. Um, but what I love about this inhaler and what everybody seems to like about it is, number one, the flavor is spot on. Wonderful flavor, turpentine flavor. Uh, the other thing that is awesome about the inhalers, <coughs> excuse me, they pack a punch. Um, it's 10 milligrams, but after the force um, at the propellant, you're getting around eight grams, seven and a half, eight grams of medicine out of it. For seven and a half grams to eight grams of cannabis, for you to fill that right off the bat, it's pretty, um, pretty unusual. Even the thing about it is people who have high tolerances that are daily users and people who don't use, they all seem to feel one hit, one puff of this inhaler. So it's a beautiful thing. So that's how you clean the inhalers for any of you that, uh, guys that missed it. <coughs> Excuse me. Everclear. Everclear. Put it in a bowl. And then simply put your uh, inhalers in there, take the canister out, let them soak, dry them off. If there's any residue inside the uh, inhaler, then you can take a toothpick or a straight pen or a safety pen and clean it up. And here is for my COPD and asthma people out there who are used to carrying this, this, uh, this evil thing around. I hate it. I don't carry it around anymore. I just happen to keep, I've had, this is the last, the only COPD medication I have left in my house is one inhaler. But um, here's what's great for you guys. So if you already have an inhaler, a prescription inhaler, you can simply take your canister out of your abuterol and you can stick your THC cannabis uh, in here, your inhaler, your cannabis, uh, canister in here and then shake it voila here's the other beautiful thing about it this particular inhaler i mean this canister um has the if you look the meter dose inhaler tracker it's a meter to mdi what that does that keeps track of how many puffs you get so in here you have a hundred so with the MDI inhalers, you can count how many doses you got. So this particular one was um, was with the was the pharmaceutical in here. So um, it's not ours, but we are making one. We have got one made. We'll be introducing in the future. We'll be making and introducing the same inhaler, the MDI inhaler, just exactly like this one uh, coming out soon uh, for our THC aero inhalers to be a part of. So that's how you clean your inhalers. Please like, share this video if you will, and uh, let everybody know that uh, uh, who's using an arrow inhaler to shake it and to keep it clean after four or five uses. It tends to get dunked up. When it gets dunked up, um, those uh, those exit spots uh, get clogged up, and it tends to not shoot out correctly as well. It didn't go out as well. So keep them cleaned out. Keep it shook up, and you'll be good to go. I love my inhaler. I love my arrow inhaler. I hope you all do too. Have a great afternoon. If you're going to Cincy tonight, I'll see you there. Say hi. And uh, if you're a dispensary coming to Cincy, you need these in your shop. They're great for recreational users. They're great for medical users who are shopping in a recreational side. They're great for everybody. Get them in your shop. Come see me at Cincinnati. Have a great day.